απόψε σπίτι Θέλω να ξενυχτήσουμε μαζί Η νύχτα μας ανήκει Μες στα σκοτάδια μόνο εγώ και εσύ Hello everyone, this is Dimitri Kousathanis, host of the Greek American Hour with Dimitri that airs every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and Saturday morning at 6 a.m. Eastern, which would make it 1 p.m. in Greece. This interview is taking place aboard the Royal Caribbean Freedom of the Seas where I'm performing on my big fat Greek cruise along with my very special guest who is singing sensation Kyriakos Georgiou or as he's known by his Greek friends Kyriakos Georgiou. Kyriakos has a very interesting background even though he's a professional, very successful professional singer in Greece and he has been for the past four and a half years. He was born and raised in London, England. Kyriakos, welcome to our show. Thank you, Dimitri. It's a pleasure for me uh, to be on your show. Thank you. Could you tell us a little bit about your background and what made you pursue Greek music? Because I know you have a very vast background in the arts and music, yet you've chosen to take the path of pursuing a Greek singing career, which has been very successful so far, but what was your motivation? What was your drive to do so? So as you know, I was born and raised in London by Greek Cypriot parents and my dad half Italian. So we had the Mediterranean music in the house, you know, nonstop all the time. Had a lot of time at home in the studio as my dad was a, a Greek musician. So he played bazooki. And we also had a Greek taverna where there was live Greek music every Friday and Saturday night. I went to a high school, normal English school in London. And then I went to a performing arts school college straight after my years at high school. I always knew I wanted to moved to Greece because every month or every two, three months I would go to Greece with my parents, my mom and my father, and we would go to the Greek clubs and uh, would see the Greek shows that go on in Greece. And every time I used to see a different performance, I would say to my mom and my dad, you know, that's what I want to do, that's what I want to do. And then after, you know, finishing college at 17, where I studied performing arts, I took the decision to get up and uh, go to Greece to see what, what I could do. So that was my years in London, and that's how I got into the music scene in the UK. And what was the first step you took as far as opening the door, per se, into the world of Greek music? What was the very first thing you did? Did you have any connections through your father being a musician? How was it that you were able to break the industry? So basically, in, in London, we have a radio station, uh, you know, a community Greek radio station, and they brought singers from, from Greece for, for lives. And... Uh, For one live that they bought a singer, they asked me to open his show. It was uh, Yorgos Papadopoulos, who's a Greek artist, and um, I opened his show, and his manager said to me, oh, you know, I think you're, you're quite good, you know, are you in interested in pursuing a career in Greece, or interested in doing things in Greece? And I said, uh, that, would be, that would be awesome if, if you're able to help. So obviously they, they went back to Greece, uh, and a few months later I had an, uh, an email with uh, details of doing a demo, and uh, possibly signing a contract to a record label. They sent me three, four songs to demo and we chose one out of the three I think it was three I can't remember uh, one out of three and we took it to a record label to choose what single to release and that's how I got into all the, the work of releasing music in Greece. When you sing, you have a perfect Greek accent, and for someone who's been born and raised in England, how were you able to learn the language so well and have a native proficiency? See, the funny thing is, is that my mom would take me to Greeks, uh, Greek school on a Saturday at like the age of seven, eight, I can't remember, but the first time she took me, I was like, oh no, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. So then she took me out. Because I was so, you know, I just had no energy of going. I did, I had, I didn't want nothing to do with the the Greek Greek school in general. Funnily enough, for my brothers and sisters who went, you know, uh, don't speak as fluent as and as much as me. I learned through my uh, through my grandma, my granddad, through friends, and I think. I learned mainly because growing up and knowing that I love Greek music and I want to pursue a career in Greece, I forced it myself and I and I uh, and I wanted to. When you want to do something, I believe you do it. But you've got to have a lot of uh, positive energies to be able to do it. So I kind of learned myself through friends and through family after. I didn't go to Greek school in the end. <laughs> well, and, and I'm sure listening to the Greek music enriched your vocabulary as it has with me. Yeah, no, uh, the... Yeah, I think when you listen to Greek music, it, it helps you a lot. Because you know you want to know what you're singing about, exactly. right? Okay. I suppose many times I do mess up in some, you know, some dialect or some uh, wordings, but yeah. I mean, growing up, which Greek artists did you like the most? Were there any, not only that you enjoyed listening to, but also emulated as an artist? That you heard this person, you liked the style of singing, and thought, well... Yeah, the, there's quite a few. You see, there's, there's nothing um, in, you know, in particular, sorry, 
I've even forgot my <laughs> English now. Mm. Um, there's nothing in particular, but um, if I like a song, I would listen to it. You know, and there's many singers in Greece, whether that's male singers or female singers, that that I like and I think have an amazing voice. I mean, for example, Christos Dadis for me he has an amazing voice. He he sings you know perfectly with a with a with like a metal voice. Uh, but there's loads. Nikos Ekonomopoulos, who I also really like as a singer, who's is one of the newer artists. But I can't say I like him or her specifically, and that's it. Because my, I have, I have just said my your taste. Yeah, musical my taste, taste. Yeah, my musical tastes are, are so like open. I can't like say oh, I just like that or I just like that. So I would listen to a variety of uh, different genres of music. <laughs> and what would you say is your favorite of, above all? Would it be yeah, a, a repetica? It would, it would probably be the more modern like uh, so anything that's that's playing nowadays in, in the Greek. On the Greek radio stations, so be moderna like uh, which is like uh, pop folk, I would say. Yeah, that's 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 my interest. That's what I like. That's what I love singing. And one thing with Greek music that's kind of different from American music is there's no real divide among the ages with the genres. Where in the United States, one type of music appeals to the youth, another yeah. to the older. Whereas in Greece, the nice thing is that what you mentioned, the laika, appeals to all ages. Now the laika, which is, which we would call in, uh, in English, is the the folk, right? Loosely translated, but it doesn't really describe it because you tend to think of other artists when you hear American folk mm, music. Yeah. You start getting confused. Y- yeah. Yeah. Uh, the good thing with the, our folk is that, yeah, like you said, even a, a kid seven, eight year, uh, years old would listen to Greek old folk music, and then you would get the the granddad or the, the grandma who's you know eighty years old and would be able to listen to it and connect with it, which is amazing. Which is something that doesn't usually happen, you know, in, uh, in music in other in other countries. So it's the same in England as well, as far as the separation of the uh, tastes, where you have the young people that like one style and the older people that like the other. Yes, yes. Okay. In comparison to America, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's correct. How are you able to develop the Greek style of singing? Well, um, I think what helped me a lot is uh, being part of my father's Greek uh, band. He had a Greek band in uh, in the UK, in London, and um, you know every so often we'll do special Greek events. We'll we'll play Greek parties, Greek weddings, and you know at some point my my father said, you know, do you want to join the band? Because I hear you singing in Greek at home and in in the studio, and I hear you singing in general. Are you interested? And I was like, yeah, okay. So he. I suppose he sat me down and we, we learned songs together, which was which was awesome. And um, he got me like a, my first 10 minute set as just to start off, you know, to see how it would go for me in the in the band. Uh, I would go to a wedding and I would sing that 10 minute set and I would really enjoy myself and I'd be like, oh, that was so cool, that was, that was great. And he's like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll make it bigger, slowly, 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 to make your repertoire bigger as well. And then before I knew it, I was doing like, 30 minute slot you know at a Greek wedding obviously it starts really early and finishes late in, in London it's my big fat Greek wedding you know <laughs> so were you doing the dance music slots or the dinner uh, music with the soft so music? I would I would do this at the start I would do the soft music you know a few ballads you know because that's right. that's all I knew and then I was I was more shy I was more younger and then as I was, as I was getting older and having more experience doing these these events you know my, my program would get bigger and then I'll start doing the dancing slots and then I'll start doing you know um the ballads at the end of the night, and I'll just m- uh, make my program bigger, which was which was great, and that's how I got involved in everything. To be honest, I think that if I didn't join my father's Greek wedding band, I probably wouldn't be singing right now. Our guest has been singing sensation Kyriakos Georgiou. Kyriakos Georgiou, as his friends in England call him. He's been to the United States several times. Uh, Kyriakos, where are uh, some of your favorite destinations in the United States? Well, there's many, but you know. I love New York because it reminds me, of, you know, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of people around, which is cool. And you can go to, to, to Broadway and see these shows, which is great. But also, I think I think Vegas, is, Las Vegas is, is also a cool place because, you know, you get to see big stars in in, uh, in like their theater concert kind of shows, which is great. Like, I think Britney's on at the moment. I think right. Mariah Carey just finished. Jayla's starting. Yeah. So I would say probably Vegas, New York, uh, Miami's cool as well. There's, there's many places, you know, everywhere I go or, or you know, I try to, to hold the good vibes, you know, the, the perfect moments. And uh, wherever you go, if, you, if you're if you with a good, um, as we would say in Greek, you know, with, yeah, with a company. nice friends, company, great, great friends, yeah, you have a good time anywhere you go, I think. And you mentioned Broadway, New York, and with your background in musical theater, have you ever considered pursuing a career on Broadway? Oof, that would be in, in the States, right? Yes. 
that would be that would be something cool and different. And I mean, I've done Western Musical, which Western Musical is it's like Broadway, but it's in London. It's tough. It's it's completely different to what I do. So much more demanding. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. And because it's musical theater, there's there's the acting, there's the dancing, and there's the singing involved. I would love to. It's it's a challenge, but because I'm focused on what I'm doing now I wouldn't like to get unfocused and do something else at the same time but maybe in years to come I would consider it very good and your latest release what is the title of it? my latest release is called Katilimenos in Greek I would repeat that Katilimenos could you spell it out for those who want to look it up? so YouTube if you want to listen to it just type in Kyriakos Yorgio K-Y-R-I-A-C-O-S Georgiou which is G-E-O-R G-I-O-U and the song title is Katilimenos K-A-T-I-L-I-M-E-N-O-S Again, we will have links to his songs on our Facebook page and if our fans want more information about you what's the best place to get it? So if you want to find out more information about me you can go on my official Facebook page which is Kiriakos Yorgiu like I was spelled it brain uh, before brain <laughs> My Greek, my English, everything's going <laughs> confusing. Yeah, so Kyriakos Yorgiou, K-Y-R-I-A-C-O-S, G-E-O-R-G-I-O-U. My Instagram page, that's my fan page as well on Facebook. As I had previously mentioned, we are performing together on my Big Fat Greek Cruise, myself, Kyriakos, and also Angelos Andreatos. How has your experience been thus far on the cruise? Yeah, it's a great experience because, you know, I got to meet so many people um, as I did as we did last year together when I, where I met you as well which was also great and I'm a very open person so I like to talk a lot and I like to learn about people's lives or learn learn stuff in general and I got to meet many people and I got to meet the Greek community of different areas in in the States so from Tarpon Springs from from New York New Jersey Chicago and that's awesome for me because I you know I like uh, meeting new people we had super Greek nights which were, were great a lot of uh, dancing um, a lot of fun. It, it was great. I had a good time seeing different places as well. The Caribbean was also a nice experience. And yeah, I'm happy to have uh, done this. Again, our guest has been Kyriakos Yorgiou. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me very much. Thank you very much. And congratulations on your new release. And I wish you the best of success. Thanks. And in all of your endeavors. And I wait for you in Greece to come and visit as well, Dimitri. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. And here is Kiriakos Yorgiu with his latest single, Katilimenos, here on WZIG 104.1 FM. Πάντα παίρνουσε το δικό σου για τον εγωισμό σου Υποχωρήσεις έκανα εγώ Φτάνει να αντέξω άλλο πόσο Μ' έχεις πονέσει τόσο Τον εαυτό μου πρέπει να σκεφτώ Ενδεχομένως να με μαζί σου ερωτευμένος Μα δεν θα περιμένω Ενδεχομένως να με Si su trela menos, a deja aros de no. En dejo menos name, mas si su erote menos, y aptadica su tafilla, exarti menos. En dejo menos name, ya se la dedo menos, botame psaquis dame pia, catili menos. Στο σπίτι πια δεμένο Με φίλους μου θα βγαίνω Θα πίνω θα τα σπάω στο πρωί Τώρα που είσαι πια δεν ξέρω Μα δεν θα υποφέρω Δεν περισσεύει άλλη υπομονή Ενδεχομένως να με Μαζί σου ερωτευμένος Μα δεν θα περιμένω Ενδεχομένως να με Si su trela menos, deja a los tenos. En dejo menos name, mas si su erote menos, y a ptadica su tafilla, 
εξαρτημένος Ενδέχομένος να με για σένα δεδομένος Μοντά με ψάχνεις να με πια κάτι λιμένος Μαζί σου ερωτευμένος Κι απ' τα δικά σου τα φιλιά Εξαρτημένος Ενδέχομένος να με Για σένα δεδομένος Όταν με ψάχνεις θα με πια Κάτι λιμένος Ενδέχομένος να με Μαζί σου ερωτευμένος Κι απ' τα δικά σου τα φιλιά Εξαρτημένος Ενδέχομένος να με Για σένα δεδομένος όταν με ψάχνεις θα με πια κατηλημένος